kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Happen if I press this button? Should I or shouldn't I? So very tempting. Your lab is certified creature-free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not. But so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. 
I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We've finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow-acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. Where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beasts that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later.